Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with our January 30th new releases. I'm actually filming this on the 29th for once, so I'm kind of proud of myself, but also I don't really have a choice because I am picking up Regina and Jessica from Miss Mio and Letters to Apollo on the 30th today, tomorrow. I don't know what day I'm going to be uploading this, probably today. Um, so, because um, we're going to Galentine's with a plan this week, comment down below if you're going to be at Galentine's with a plan. Um, but yeah, so filming this ahead of time, which kind of chose a bad week to do it, or at least do these releases because we have so much stuff today. And I've kind of been like a little bit, I've been holding on to some of this stuff for a little bit now. And I've just been trying to like get everything all scheduled and organized and planned out. And I think I'm finally on track. So with that being said, we have two new kits this week. We have a bunch of journaling items and then we have something that was super highly requested. Um, I'm a little out of breath because I've been like running around trying to make sure I have everything for this video. I was actually going to release another thing, but it wasn't like fully ready and I didn't want to mess with like the processing and stuff like that. So I'm going to release it next week. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start with these items first because I feel like we always start with the kits. So let's just go ahead and get started. This first thing I'm going to go over is like one of the most requested things that I've had all year so far, which I mean, we're only like one month into the year, which how, how is it February in a couple of days? I have no clue. But, um, a lot of people requested that this come back in the bring back and the file was actually like really old. So I went ahead and just reformatted it based on like our new cutting system and also updated the holidays to be a little bit more in line with what 2024 holidays actually are because Easter is in freaking March this year and like the Lunar New Year is in February, but then next year is going to be in January. So just a couple things are like moving around a little bit. So I hope that everything is all situated correctly. The only one way to find out, I suppose. Um, so yeah, these are the like monthly essentials. So this is kind of like if you wanted to just like do a free form month without buying our monthly kits. Kind of like how um, Tay from Shantae Plans, I know other people do it too, but I just always think of her because she's very particular about her monthlies. Like, if you know, you know. I love you, Tay. But, um, yeah, so I feel like something like this would be perfect for her or someone who is kind of similar where you um, maybe don't use a monthly kit, but you still use your monthly spreads. So you get the month, you get some holidays and some other, like, birthday scripts. You get the like date numbers and then you get Monday through Sunday so if you just want like the month um you can always save these um days of the week for another week or you can always like save the scripts or the date numbers it's totally up to you but um yeah so these are the little essentials this was um like one of the most requested for the bring back so I definitely knew that I wanted to bring it back like bring it eventually but this at least allows me to keep it in the shop like throughout the year instead of just like doing it in the bring back and then you could only get it for like five days or so so super excited about that anyway January um we have your holidays like I said Kwanzaa ends New Year's Day MLK Junior Day and then every single month you get a my birthday script and you get happy birthday scripts um you get your 1 through 31 and you get Monday through Sunday and then you get the month so here is January we have February here with Groundhog Day, Valentine's Day, President's Day and Lunar New Year you can always save the happy birthday scripts or the my birthday scripts for any other spreads if you don't want to put them in your monthly but here is March with daylight savings, St. Patrick's Day and Easter like I said Easter is in March this year very bizarre I don't like it. it th it's throwing me off. I always associate Easter with April. Um, yeah, so <laughs> April, we have April Fool's Day, Good Friday, uh, Tax Day, Earth Day, which now that I think about it is Good Friday before Easter, so should that technically be in March? I'm not sure. Um, hopefully is not the case. I am 
not exactly religious. Um, so I'm not sure how that works. I hope that's not the case, but if it is, I'm sorry. Um, here is May with Cinco de Mayo, Mother's Day, Memorial Day. Here is June with Flag Day, Father's Day, and Juneteenth. July, these are my least favorite months coming up, July and August. Not, there's nothing wrong with the month themselves. It's just every single time that I do the July or the August monthly, I'm like, what am, what do I put in here? Like, there's no, like, holidays in these months um, besides 4th of July in July. And then August is, like, so empty. I'm like, what what am I doing? So here's July. All we have is a sad little 4th of July. Then we have my birthday and the rest are happy birthday scripts. With August, I know this isn't the case for everyone, but here in the South, or at least where I am in the South, school starts in August. I know some of y'all school starts in September which I think is weird, um, but um, yeah, we just, I just had to put something. August is so empty. <laughs> Next we have September, which is Labor Day and Patriot Day, 9-11, and then we have um, just the same thing that it's been. October, we have Indigenous Day and Halloween. November, Daylight Savings, Veterans Day, and Thanksgiving. And then December, we have Christmas, Kwanzaa, and New Year's Eve. So yeah, that is everything for the little monthly essentials. I don't think that the holidays are necessarily, like, comprehensive but I do know that a lot of shops like sell like more comprehensive holiday scripts but for me it's a little bit hard to keep up with so um yeah hopefully most of everything that you mark down in your planner is there um to try my best um just so you know that these are marked down um an extra 10% off this week. So these are normally, I think, like $3.95 a sheet, and then they're marked down to like 10% off of that. So whatever that is, I think it's like $3.50 or something like that, maybe $3.60. Yeah, I think it's closer to $3.60. And then you can use the PR 20% off, which I think knocks you down below $3, so just over $2. So you can pick these up in any foil color that you like. We have gold, silver, rose gold, and hollow. And then, of course, we have black as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, I was thinking about putting these all in a whole bundle, but I feel like that would just be, like, kind of confusing um, for order packing. So, they're listed by the month. Um, so, you can pick up the month in whatever color, foil color you please. Um, dogs are barking, and I don't know why. So, um, Bill is normally on dog watch to try and make sure that they don't bark during my videos, but he's currently taking Emma to the dentist, so I'm kind of on my own here. Hopefully, it's not too bad and it's bearable. So, let's get into some of the journaling items. We have a lot of vintage items here. I was just really on a vintage kick, so we got a lot. So, here are some little vintage labels. They're very, like, numerical. <laughs> Um, but we have some little labels. These are available in white, transparent, and the washi paper. So there's that. We have some vintage stamps. These little vintage swatches. I feel like this would be so freaking cute and transparent, like using them kind of like an alcohol swatch, but they're like vintage, like papery textures in the swatch. I don't know. Um, here we have vintage receipts, some vintage tickets, and then some little vintage tape strips. So cute. So that is everything for that sort of vintage collection there. Um, those are also marked down. Everything's marked down an additional 10%. Um, so 
those are included in that. Next we have some wooden tiles, which I don't know. I really wanted to have some items that were more geared towards journaling. So like those vintage items and then now these wooden tiles. These wooden tiles are so much fun. Um, you get two sets of the alphabet in the large letters. These are also available in white, transparent matte, and um, the washi paper. Here are the small letters. You get one, two, three, four. You get four sets of the full alphabet here. Here are some large numbers. You get zero through nine. They look like little Scrabble tiles, but you know, for obvious reasons, we can't call them Scrabble tiles. So they are wooden tiles. And then we have the small numbers and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. You get 12 sets of zero through nine. So tons of numbers there. And then to make things even more fun, we have these days of the week here. So you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like all like kind of like, what's the word I'm looking for? They're kind of just like, um, like scrambled almost, uh, just to make it more like visually interesting than like just having them kind of like in a line next to each other. So you get one, two, three, four, five. You get five sets of Monday through Sunday here. And then of course, had to have matching date numbers because those other date numbers, even the little ones are like too big for these, I feel like, but they match the vibe of the days of the week here. So I feel like that's super fun. Um, and then you do get the one through 31 and you get four sets of them. So that is that. And then last but not least, we have some torn paper strips that aren't just watercolor, they're more like textures. Um, I tried to do like some different type of textures. We've done watercolor ones and we've done gingham ones. And then I think we've done some other ones that was a collab with Danny from Danny with a Planny. But now we have some other ones, just some basics I feel like. But some of these are like different that I personally haven't seen before, but obviously like um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I haven't personally seen them, but they may also exist somewhere else, but I think that these are fun. So these are distressed leather and they are the same like torn paper layout as the ones that I showed last week in the different colors. Um, these are available in white transparent and washi. So you can pick them up in washi and if you just like the washi texture, but you can also like tear them more if you want, but they're already kind of like in the torn shapes for you. So lots of options. It's really up to you. So here we have the distressed leather. We have this crumpled paper texture. This stained paper. Honestly, if a page of my notebook looked like this, I would rip it out and or start a whole new notebook. <laughs> um, Next we have this cardboard texture. It almost looks, it looks like cardboard, but also looks a little bit more like, um, like a paperboard. Here we have this dotted paper, this manila paper, this sheet music paper, which there's more to this than just like the sheet music. It's also got like kind of like the paper texture and like some discoloration and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more interesting than just like black and white. And then we have this vintage writing paper. So I feel like these are some pretty good basics for the torn paper. I just wanted to kind of build up some of the basics that we have going on in the shop, especially like for the journaling. So um, that is everything for stuff that's not kits this week. So we have the torn paper strips, we have the wooden tiles, the like whole like little vintage mini collection, and then we have the monthly essentials. Um, so that is everything in terms of that. I showed all of those in white, just for your reference, because they show up best on camera. Um, in case you're new, that's what I try to always do. So keep that in mind. 
Um, oh, except for this. I did not show the monthly essentials in white. I showed them in transparent matte because they are only available in transparent matte. Um, I could make them available in white, I think, but honestly, even like with the last bring back, we offered white in everything like how we did before because I just made old listings live and white is just like not that popular for most foiled items. There's only like a handful of foiled items where white is more popular over transparent matte. So um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do Blossom first. Um, this kit is like springy in the sense of like it being super florally, but also works really well for Valentine's Day, which I know that we're just now getting into February, like it's right around the corner. So it's kind of late for a Valentine's kit, but I don't know. You could also save this for fall if you want or whatever. I think pink and flowers really works anytime. This would make a good like winter florally kit too. So um, it's up to you. There's a lot of rain elements on the deco page. So I think it's super fun. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, first we have this little box up here with this girl. It says live simply and bloom wildly. We have floral, this little scene here, more flowers. The quote says, be patient with yourself. Nothing in nature blooms all year. We have sunglasses and like a little flat way with lay it with some foiled Polaroids. This little scene where it's like very clearly spring outside, this little moped and some more florals. Here is the color palette is really giving some Valentine's vibes. This would also work for an anniversary kit. I feel like we have red, pink, like a medium pink and a light pink and then we have like a creamy color we have the functional page which kind of has like these little swirlies with dots on it very pretty i love the florals in this kit you can see it better here oh, one sec. Um, we have the little floral washi with the same little squiggle we have the days of the week, well, the date covers, and then we have a lot of the clip art, which is very florally, and an umbrella and some butterflies. Here is the um, the floral, not floral, the foil sampler. So we have the little dividers and washi that kind of match the kit. We have some different size little Polaroids. You have the words that were up here to live simply and bloom wildly, but they're cut individually and you have a couple of them. You have some little mopeds, a lot of books and some letters, and then we have like some flying um, airplanes. They're not helicopters. I don't know if these have special names. I should know considering Bill has an aerospace engineering degree. <laughs> um, we're just going to go with that for now, but you can see one of them flying up here. So. That is the foil add-on. This is in rose gold just to show to match the kit, but you can give it in any foil color. We have the deco add-on, which you have two more ladies here and lots of florals, an umbrella, some butterflies, a lot of fun stuff like that. Here is the floral deco add-on. The journal add-on and the alcohol ink swatch add-on. Now this alcohol ink swatch add-on page screams Valentine's. It's perfect if you need some of those colors for the month of February. So that is Blossom in rose gold foil. Next is Rain, which is kind of giving me April showers, bring May flowers vibes. Um, we, it's in silver foil. Um, we have this little swing up here with like a little dog sleeping on it and some foiled birds. Florals, of course, this little scene, scrapbooky flat lay. We have more scrapbook situation going on with this little girl, not like little girl as in like a child, but she's little in the box with reading a book. The quote says, May the flowers remind us why the rain was so necessary, which it's been raining a lot here. Um, so really hoping for some good flowers this year. Um, we have another girl here with an umbrella and then these really cute birds like cuddling in their little bird nest. So cute. Love the color palette for this. It's very muted spring colors. So you get blue, green, pink, and cream, but like muted. 
here is the functional page. You have some little like clouds in the header and then your usual, of course it matches the kit. Here is the bottom washi, that silver foil is so pretty with these colors. You get your foiled florals and then that same little cloud washi situation. Here's your date covers and the deco. Here is the foil sampler. We have the, the cloud washi and dividers, some puddles, umbrellas, and kites. These little like stacked stamps. And then just a lot of little rain cluster deco and like mini deco. This is a fun like weather type of foil add-on. Um, and I'm showing this in silver to match the kit. But as usual, you can get in gold, silver, rose gold, hollow, and black. Next, we have the deco add-on, which we have a window, some more little ladies there, a swing, a bicycle, just some other spring clipper with some shoes, little like vase, and a fence for that ladybug. We have the floral deco add-on. The journal add-on. I just love the colors of this. It just makes me so happy. I don't know why. They're not even like that bright in terms of like making me happy, but they're just so calming. I think that's why. And then we have the alcohol ink swatch add-on. So that is everything for this week. Um, it is a lot, but I don't know. I am loving it. So just to recap, everything is 10% off as usual through Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It does typically stay up longer than that um, because I normally don't make it to midnight, or at least if I do, I don't remember to put uh, change the pricing. Um, but just in case I do, I just want to say that so you're safe. Um, yeah, so we have our two new kits, paper strips, warden tiles, vintage journaling stuff, and then the monthly essentials. Um, everything's 10% off, like I said, discount automatic. You can use any PR code on top of that if you would like. And yeah, I think that is everything. Again, I actually had to film the intro of this video two or three times because my camera's acting up and then the battery died. So I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning, but I am going to Galentine's with a plan. Um, so if you are also going, let me know in the comments down below. If you aren't familiar with Galentine's with a plan, it's like a little Galentine's planner event that is like in the metro Atlanta area um, that's hosted by Shanice from Planners and Tacos. Um, and this is my second year attending. I don't know how many years this event's been going on, um, but I do know that last year was my first time attending. This year is my second, so I am hoping to see some of you guys there. I am hoping to have stuff to hand out there. I am pretty sure that I will. I never really show up to events empty-handed, but as of right now, I don't know what I'm going to be bringing with me. But um, yeah, if you're going to be there, let me know in the comments down below or come say hi. Um, and yeah, I think that is everything. Um, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you. <laughs> um, I do feel a little disoriented filming these past couple of weeks just because I'm just so used to there being like $2 Tuesday annual releases, but I appreciate you making it through with me. Let me know what you think about this week's new releases down below. And yeah, I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.